and sisters, I see their name. From United Democratic Alliance, United Democratic Movement, sorry, uh, to Kenya Kwanza. Karibuni sana. Karibuni sana. As has been said here, this is the alliance and the coalition of the willing and the free. Um, as uh, my good brother Robert has said, when it was time to come together, there were no ifs and there were no buts. We just said, actually when Robert and uh, my other good brothers came and we had the first meeting, they told me that we have come here, whether you like it or not. <laughs> so there was no option of us not working together because we have a long history together. We have walked the political journey with many members of, uh, of uh, this uh, UDM. And to be brutally honest, I am actually the founder of UDM. <laughs> so thank you for bringing my party home. <laughs> so uh, the UDM, we formed this UDM party with uh, Kipruto Kirwa and uh, uh, Sambu and Jirongo way back in 2000 and uh, no 1998. That's how far it was. Uh, when we were uh, harassed out of Kano, that is where what we did. But the rest is history. The news is that this afternoon, UDM becomes a member of Kenya Kwanza, Nakari Um Let me also say I am truly grateful that as Kenyan, we are progressively appreciating that we can compete, we can hold different views, we can belong to different parties, but we can find a formula to work together for the greater good of the nation. And I think this is the journey we are engaged in at the moment. As has been said by Professor Kindiki, Kenya Kwanza has uh, grown over time. Many members have joined. Uh, many political parties have joined. Today, uh, UDM has joined the Kenya Kwanza fraternity. And like all the other members that have joined before you, you will become an equal member of this alliance like all the others. Um, you will participate with us in parliament, in governance, in the executive, and in every other aspect as we seek to consolidate our country, our development, and our progress. I want to assure you, members of UTM, that Kenya Kwanza is large enough to accommodate all of us. Our plan and our agenda is broad enough to accommodate all the ideas that will come from all the constituent parties and all the other leaders that form uh, Kenya Kwanza. Karibuni sana on behalf of uh, the other leaders of uh, Kenya Kwanza. Uh, you're most welcome into this coalition. And I, as I told you, this is the coalition of the willing and the free. Uh, we have had occasion, many members who came to join us from the other side say they were never given an opportunity to read the contents of the agreement. They were never given an opportunity 
to interrogate whatever agreement they were being told to sign. And that is why, to date, there is only one agreement that is public, and that is the Kenya Kwanzaa Agreement. The other agreement for our competitors, nobody knows what it says, how it looks, and it is an insult to the people of Kenya to ask anybody in the 21st century to abide by an agreement they have never read, they have never seen, and they have never participated in formulating. I don't even know how our competitors manage to keep people in Azimi. They, they, they <laughs> you know? And let me say, uh, for the record, that because we believe in a free, in a society that people make choices without looking back, I want to confirm that what happened the last four years where politics was criminalized, relationships were criminalized, association was criminalized. I want to promise Kenya that that is a chapter that is closed. <laughs> Going into the future, this country shall continue to be the democratic nation that many Kenyans fought for. Association, relationships, friendships will be free and nobody, no government institution will be used by anybody to criminalize friendships or associations or political uh, 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 affiliations. We want to have a country where people are free, ideas are free, relationships are free, association is earned, it's not coerced. I know the last four years and many of the people who were forced into joining our competitors were threatened and blackmailed and intimidated using the criminal justice system. I promise the people of Kenya that the criminal justice system will exit from politics. The criminal justice system will deal with criminals. They will not deal with politicians. The, to leverage political friendship or political support or political traction. We will ensure that the criminal justice system, the DCI, the ESCC, the KRA, and all other institutions execute their mandate devoid of politics. I say so because I know many people who have suffered because of their political affiliations. So I want, I want to tell even our competitors that they will have no fear. I know Maybe because our competitors have used the criminal justice system to harass other people. Maybe they think we will do the same. I want to promise the country we will not do it. Limited and it is backward. We want to live in a society that is free. We want political support to be earned. We want um, friendship to be built. And we want a society that Kenyans are free. I promise the people of Kenya this country is going to be free. That's why I'm saying our national security intelligence will focus on criminals and focus on terrorists and focus on those who want to harm our country. 
not on politicians and who they want to speak to and which association they want to belong to or which political party they want to belong to or to who they want to associate with. We as politicians will do our thing. We will talk to each other. We will canvass each other. We will persuade whoever we can. And we will ensure that Kenya is free. I want to tell those who uh, don't agree with us, you have nothing to fear whatsoever. You have nothing to fear. You can disagree with us and go home and be free and walk around the way you want. Um, as I said the other day, we will all go back to our normal phones. Nobody will tap your phones to criminalize your relationship or your friendship or your political association. Let me also say as we go into the future that we have a daunting responsibility. Many people are wondering why we are consolidating our place in the National Assembly and our place in the Senate. We have a huge responsibility ahead of us. We need a lot of policy decisions to be made. We need some legislative interventions to be made. And we need to begin to build the team that will help us deliver on the mandate that we have been given by the people of Kenya. We have made commitments to the people of Kenya. I hear many Kenyans beginning to ask, so when is the Hustlers Fund going to roll out because we want to go back to business? It is for that reason that we are consolidating the team that will help us prosecute our legislative agenda in Parliament, our policy agenda in Parliament, so that we can get on with doing that which we must do for the people of Kenya. I say so because I know, for example, we didn't manage to pass the correct law for us to operationalize the housing fund. And that is why our housing program under the Big Four did not take off. It is my intention, it is our commitment as Kenya Kwanzaa that we will get through Parliament the necessary legislation to operationalize the housing fund so that we can begin the journey to social housing, to low-cost housing, and to making sure that the housing program that forms a big part of our uh, job creation uh, intervention is rolled out in the shortest time possible. I can give you another example. We just managed to pass uh, the Universal, uh, uh, the NHIF Act about seven months ago. That is something we should have passed in 2018. Yeah? So, we have a serious legislative agenda. And that is why the coming on board of UDM gives us that much more leverage to be able to drive our legislative agenda in uh, the National Assembly and the Senate so that we can live up to the expectations and the commitments we have made uh, to the people of Kenya. We have no intention whatsoever to limit the capacity of our competitors to provide oversight over our administration. We are looking forward to a robust engagement. We are looking forward to our competitors providing oversight so that the people of Kenya can get value for the resources we have, they can get value for uh, the vote, uh, for their votes by making sure that we have a government that delivers. So um, 
I want our competitors to know that uh, they are free to associate in the manner in which they want uh, and let them also appreciate that we too are free to associate with whoever wants to associate with us. So um, let me finally say the following, that as we um, are in the space where we are, I have already asked public service that over the last several months have been coerced to participate in politics. I have said it is our commitment as Kenya Kwanzaa to run a professional public service. We want all public servants to professionally stick to their oath of office and to serve all Kenyans equally irrespective of their political affiliation. I want to repeat for the avoidance of doubt, all public servants from the assistant chief to permanent secretaries and all other public servants that it is not their place to support this political party or that political party. They enjoy the right, like all other Kenyans, to serve all Kenyans equally, irrespective of their political affiliation. As Kenya Kwanzaa, we do not expect chiefs to run our Kenya Kwanzaa political programs. No. We want chiefs to serve all Kenyans, to provide service to all Kenyans equally. And therefore, I am telling every public servant, wherever they are, they have a, their jobs are protected by the Constitution, they have a code of uh, conduct, please let them read a code of conduct and stick to it. Political parties should look for errant people to run their political uh, errands. And finally, let me also um, thank all Kenyans for the manner in which we have conducted ourselves, both before the election, after the election, after the announcement of the results, and even in the period where we are, as we wait for the next steps before um, the swearing in of the new government. I want to very sincerely say that um, the way we had an issue-based election has brought us to where we are. All Kenyans who went to the ballot and voted and all Kenyans who have maintained peace are the heroes of our nation. All Kenyans. And I want to salute every Kenyan, whatever they are, and commit to them that this is the new Kenya. And in fact, for those of us who are leaders, the people of Kenya are speaking to us loudly that they want us to have elections and they want to get back to work the next day as they did in this election. So uh, I think we have managed, we should congratulate ourselves as Kenyans that we have managed not only to carry out an issue-based election, but we have also managed to have a peaceful election and a peaceful uh, transition into the next uh, dispensation. Um, I think this is a step in the right direction. Let me also congratulate the Electoral Commission. I think if there is one hero of this election, it is one Wafula Chebukati. The posting of the election results on a public portal was a game changer. It made all the difference. He opened the servers from day one. So there was no room for anybody to say there was a server that was not opened. There was an algorithm, I don't know, in some place. 
there is no need whatsoever for any form of complicated arithmetic in this election. There is no algorithm, there is no square root, there is no <laughs> Pythagoras. <laughs> I think in this election is a simple calculator plus or minus, finished. So, and uh, the simplifying of this election in the manner in which it was done by the Electoral Commission is really a moment of pride for all of us as the people of Kenya. And uh, we want to look forward to even improving on uh, the elections as we go into the future. Um, I want to persuade also our competitors. We know there was a lot of stories before the election. There's been a lot of stories. I think it's time to deal with reality. The reality of numbers, the reality of the situation. So um, I still see our competitors trying to say they have the numbers in parliament. I really don't know how they how they count these numbers. <laughs> you know? Maybe it's the same formula they are using is the one that uh, 0.01% 0 .01 is 142,000. Please, I think let's deal with reality. And we want to um, work with everybody. I want to commit to all uh, the people of Kenya, of Kenya that no Kenyan irrespective of how they voted, will be disenfranchised in any way. The government that we are going to form is the government of Kenya and is going to serve those who voted for us and those who did not vote for us because this will be the government of Kenya. Kenyans have no reason whatsoever to regret how they voted. Every Kenyan has a right to vote the way they want. And every Kenyan has a right to be served by their government at the national or at the county level, irrespective of who or how they voted. We will shortly be coming together as leaders, those who have the mandate elected by the people of Kenya, so that we can work together to serve the people of Kenya. This morning, um, I had a meeting with the president of the World Food Program, who was supporting us with close to a million and a half people in Kenya. We are all aware of the situation where we are, with food prices, and we have agreed on an early meeting the course of next week to begin the journey to see how we can support our farmers to be able to produce so that we can no longer suffer the hunger that millions of our citizens are suffering. So um, we have begun the process of consolidating information so that it can inform our next move as we of us and assure the country that um, we have a capable team to be able to take charge of the uh, situation in the country and to take Kenya where we all want Kenya to be. So again to my uh, UDM brothers and sisters, Karibuni Sana, this is your home as you have said, you are back home. Karibuni Sana, you know where every space is, you know where the kitchen is, you know where every place is and therefore uh, you don't need any orientation around here. We are one team and we want to move together and move the country forward. Asante ni sana.